And I once again we're going to have a game of Super Skid Marks for the Commodore Amiga. Yes. So what we got here? Set up players. So ooh, we can have up to eight players on this game. Um, so you can set arrow keys. I had this back in the day, by the way. Um, also the first Skid Marks. Ooh, minis, Porsches, Beetles, that, that, and a Formula One car. Let's select the Formula One car. Um, have it on higher resolution, of course. Start match race, um, read floppies. Oh, this was such a nightmare to set up actually. Well, I'm just trying to get this game to go on my emulator. I had so much passion trying to set it up. Um, so, read from discs, because this game has got seven discs, and for some reason I couldn't wouldn't work on my hard drive, couldn't install it to my hard drive for some reason. Ah, oh, well, my virtual hard drive. Here we go anyway. Oh, look a little bit small, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. That's because. Oh, fucking hell, here we go. In the melee of racing. <laughs> yeah, probably because I've got my s the screen that ain't that big when I'm on the. Because I use it on the window of my screen. So obviously, I ain't got my screen. It ain't a very big as I've got it. I've got it all set up. Not a small window, but it's not really that big, so. So now <laughs> these cars look really tiny. Uh, I remember this band on my Amiga 1200. This I don't know if this is the AGA version, but the, a, the version I had back in the day was the AGA version, solely for the Amiga 1200 and Amiga 4000. Um, well, I didn't have an Amiga 4000. I had a 1200. Oh, putting out quite a good lead here. Hey. So I am actually good at games. <laughs> Usually I'm losing a race. Um, yeah, it's quite a simple game actually because I've got it on the classic setting. Um, e one. Okay, great. Um, yeah, as I say, the, the AGA version. I don't know if this is the AGA version or what. Can't really tell. <laughs> so we come first. So because then we can select more um, cars we'll select a different car this time but we're going to put it on low resolution so we can actually see the racing cars <laughs> so select cars so we'll choose something different hopefully we don't have to do none of more fucking disc swapping which I was trying to get it to set up do so much fucking disc swapping with this game so now I've got four discs in the drive, so I hope they're all the right discs. Um, yes, okay. So these are, I like racing these, one of my favorite fun cars to race. Camaros with the big wheels. Ah, oh, fucking we in second. Oh, fucking try to be, it's an off-road car, why can't it just go over the track? Nah. Yeah, at least you can see the cars this time. I know, I, this means the to do a little bit more scrolling but it's not a problem um, you can select different tracks There's, there was four discs worth of tracks um, two discs worth of cars plus the program disc um, and I believe it did come with another disc back in the day which was an AGA version and the normal Amiga version um, of course I used the AGA version of this game so yeah, really, really good fun game this was. I mean, I don't know how many players you can play up to. Um, I think it could be four. I know you can computer-wise, up to eight computer game, computer opponents can play. Um, well, seven, because you're, you, cause you're driving one of the guys. So eight players, including, including computer, can play this. But actual human players, I don't know. I think it might be up to four. Um, There's still a reasonable amount players but as I say it's really good this game brilliant nice fun classic sort of um, driving <laughs> now we're gonna try something really optimistic now select cars is it yeah we're gonna choose the oh fucking hell we're gonna choose the Formula One cars again now you're gonna see something you don't see <laughs> in motorsport every day well never <laughs> You go to select players, you can choose caravans. Okay, it does reduce the amount of players, but 
Now, this is something you never ever would ever see in your life, only in Super Skid Marks you would. Um, <laughs> Formula One cars towing caravans. Now, how many, now, how could you ever see something like this? Actually, it is bizarre, but you know, that's what makes it unique. Because it's bizarre, it's brilliant. Because <laughs> you will never ever see this in another racing game, I don't think, or in real life. <laughs> Be actually quite fun to see Formula One cars towing caravans. Might make them racing more interesting. <laughs> Can you imagine Lewis Hamilton winning the Grand, winning the World Championship by towing a caravan? <laughs> That'd be something funny to see, actually. <laughs> yeah, very, very. It is a great game. This is a lot of fun playing this. Hey, here we go to show off. Yes, shouldn't have done that. Now I'm right on my fucking arsehole. <laughs> hey. So, yes. Who's going to win this Grand Prix? The Formula One Season Caravan. <laughs> and the world, champions, the world Champion wins a holiday of a lifetime. You get to tow your caravan to a caravan site for a week. <laughs> that was great, that was. <laughs> you don't see that every day in motorsport. <laughs> Never. Anyway, I'm going to end this review now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.